Hey, everybody, we are here with our 300 Club tonight, and we are talking tonight about systems and their role in, in momentum. And um, this is a really fun topic for me. I'm going to go through just the systems that I feel like are really special and different. Um, something I didn't necessarily think about at the very beginning, even though I was doing it. Um, and so when we can just sort of understand the why behind our actions, the sky's the limit. I know you guys know that. So let's go. Let's dive right into it. All right. So um, you know, there is a quote, and if you happen to be at a convention last year and you happen to see myself and Leanne speak, we opened it up with people fail and systems don't. And that is kind of a harsh truth, but let it comfort you. Because here's the here's the point. When we put our energy into having a system, it's okay if we are not showing up at 100% every single day, we got our system together. We know what we're doing. Our people know what they're doing, right? Like, um, and I'll describe what ours is. You guys have kind of been around, you've seen it, but we'll kind of describe what that looks like so that you can kind of understand as we go through each piece of this. Um, those of you that, um, you know, have been a part of our systems and you'll quickly see as I'm going through these that you have been a part of it and you just didn't know you were maybe a part of it. You didn't define it that way. Let that be a guide around um, just sort of a skeleton, okay, around what is possible. But maybe you're going to look at a piece of this and be like, you know, I really like onboarding people in this certain way. And I want to give you the wings to do that, right? And so like, let yourself be supported by what's already in place, but also put your own stamp on it, something that feels really good to you. A perfect example is that I've got leaders that um, they print out like binders of information for people when they get started. Like that's what they do. Like you will not catch me doing that, but they like it. It feels good for them. They feel like it works, whatever, right? And it's not up to me to decide what is workable and um, efficient for those folks, okay? Same with you. So let's dive right in and let's start talking about these systems I took very minimal notes. I just made like a quick list and I feel like I can talk about this topic pretty easily. So if you've got questions, jot them down. We'll stop the recording at the end and you can kind of ask nitty gritty questions because this really is a piece where you get to put your stamp on your leadership. And I wanna let you know that while systems, if, if somebody would have said the word systems to me when I was like a silver or senior silver, I would have been like, what? No, I'm not doing a system, right? I'm like a rebellious little whatever. And I'm like, I'm doing whatever I want to do. Here's the deal. Systems are so important because they give you freedom. And the quicker, and I got some Enneagram eights on here. Y'all love to, you know, I, I love me some strong women. I got some threes on here, right? I love me strong women. This is the thing. Um, this is not me telling you what to do, but providing you a layer of where you can throw energy into something that will pay you in sleep money later. Okay. I'm giving you guidance on something that will give you money as you sleep when done appropriately. And here's the thing about a system. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. You're going to get, if you're somebody that likes any type of like variety in life, you're going to be bored of the system talk. Like I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Okay. Do it anyway. Get your variety somewhere else. Take a beach trip. Okay. Okay change your hair color. Okay. Do the same thing over and over with this. I've just got to tell you, it's going to feel boring. It's going to feel now. Some of you might be listening to this and you're like, I am dying for something that I can do every single day, the same exact way. And that's why this business is so special because it, it really shows up for every single type of personality. Okay. So this again is guidance for people who want to be jewel, who want to run large organizations, who want to do it and have fun. That's what we're doing here, right? Is the system going to be 
fun. No, but you can sprinkle your light. You can sprinkle all the things into it. I don't know if you've noticed, but we're doing like steal the deal. I wouldn't call that anything other than like a, like a, like a team support system, right? We're just throwing it in there. We're having fun, right? We can add flavor to the things that we do. It's saying my connection is unstable. Can you hear me? Are you guys okay? Okay. I just wanted to double check because we're going to get into the meat and potatoes. So Here's what I want you to do. The first one is a system for your own activity. And this is where I want you to be loose with yourself. This is where I feel like if I had to give guidance around this, I want you to be having um, kind of a schedule or a way that you keep track of your own personal customers. Sometimes this can look like you getting into your virtual office and looking at the names right? And following up with the people. There is a level one tab. Um, as your organization grows, you're going to be supporting levels that are not just your level one, okay? And uh, as a sidebar to that, that's not a problem, by the way. Like all the levels work. If they're running, they're running with you because you are the strongest member of your team, okay? We feel me? Okay, so the next thing is I want you to definitely be like, um, you know, having um, a method around when you're touching base. Maybe this is something you do Monday, okay? Maybe this is something that you do. It doesn't have to feel heavy duty. Um, as you know, in our booklet, there is that IPA kind of a worksheet um, that we are um, able to like go off of. I've had some feedback of like, this feels like a lot for me. This feels like, guys, I want you to understand you're not clocking into a boss with any of this. So I want you to think, what's the best way for me to touch base with the people that have already said yes? What's the best way for me to, to, to filter in conversations with new people? What's the best way for me to deepen the sale for people who are sharing on my team or the ones that I want them to share? So this one is the most kind of loosey-goosey of our systems because you really do have to, and I'm willing to have this talk one-on-one -on -one with you. So please know that, okay? If we wanna get into the weeds and figure out what that absolutely looks like for you, I am available, okay? But ultimately with that, meaning your system for yourself, you need to be definitely, um, you know, having kind of a guideline around what that looks like. And if you don't, you can still be successful. I hate to say it, right? The other ones aren't negotiable. This one is like, it can look and feel differently. It can be a new sheet. It can, you know, it's just, that's something that you're going to have to ebb and, and flow through. But it's, that is a non-negotiable because if you don't show up to your own personal work, it, the rest will fall apart. The rest will fall apart because you can have a great team system, but if you're not growing the team, which is where your personal activity starts, it's going to be hard. Okay, so the next one is a recruiting system. If you're on our team, everybody here is, you see everything we do, a recruiting system looks a lot like inviting someone to Sunday, inviting someone to Thursday, getting people in three-way messages. So I think that we've got a really incredible recruiting system. Okay, I really do. I feel like it works. I feel like the first thing that we try to do with our system, especially the people that we are working with one-on-one -on -one, is we're going to get these people in a three-way message or an informational gathering kind of message, right? We've gotten their lead off of a, a post, they're excited, or we've reached out to them in a green light, whatever. We've created the potential. And then the first thing we want to do is try to get them into a three-way message. You may be a person that's running your own messages right now fine. You may be somebody that's like, no, I love that three-way message. Or you might be somebody that's ready to transition into supporting other people in three-way messages. Here's why I think that is the very first most important thing is getting them to, um, you know, just, just having that system is because the other items can be next invitations. Right. So a recruiting system really looks like how can we get in conversations with people and how can we get them to say yes, first and foremost, as we know, um, our method for 
um, you know, getting these people to join or getting these people to buy is very much open-ended question focused. We're not dumping a lot of information into this, okay? But there will be times when you hit a roadblock with those people or they ghost or they go silent. That's a great time for you to say, hey, I did. we didn't hear back from you. Could, would you be our guest for Thursday? Would you be our guest? I know you said that money is kind of an issue. Would you be our guest for Sunday? And guys, as you can remember, the Sunday nights are more business focused. The Thursday nights are uh, more, um, uh, you know, product focused or speaking about the products. Um, obviously, we don't have a compensation plan without products that work. We know this. Um, but that's something I want you to keep in mind. If you're someone who feels like your uh, three-way message protocol is not as tight as it could be, um, really check in with other, you know, um, we've done, I've done a lot of videos about this. I'm happy to message you one-on-one -on -one about this, but getting that, that is the, that is probably um, the, the greatest moneymaker on our team is the way that we three-way message and then invite into other things. So optimizing the learning around that is really critical for our recruiting system. You might be listening to this and thinking, um, you know, so as the recruiting system starts, um, our systems will kind of run into one another. For a perfect example, um, we have obviously like our educational system, right? Our, our sales system where we're training on Monday nights. You guys have been, you know, you've come to Monday nights um, and there's a training there. But that kicks off the week of us getting potentials into three-way messages or driving into a Thursday night event. So that's kind of the way the general cadence will go. And you want um, yourself to kind of, um, and, and another caveat to this is maybe Thursdays don't work for you or, you know, Mondays are hard for you to attend or whatever that looks like. Let what we do and what you see on the larger team be a guide but not an excuse not to have it, okay? Because here's the truth. Everything we offer at the larger team level, you can invite your people to, right? That's the most beautiful piece of this. Um, you know, I, I want you to really understand specifically the recruiting system looks a lot like us getting into conversations about the products. That's all, right? We're getting into conversations with the products and what does that look like? And how do we, how do we, um, you know, re when we're reaching out to our people that are sharing, we're really um, having that conversation with them about who can you connect me with? What does that look like? Um, you know, recruiting has a lot to do with just excitement and getting into those conversations. It doesn't have to feel scary, right? You've been a part of it. You've seen it. You've been doing it. Okay. So just knowing that. So that would be really the recruiting system for me is working one-on-one -on -one and it's a living, breathing experience because I'm working, if Kristen is my new level one, I'm like, oh, great, great, babe. This is perfect. Who can we talk to today? Who do you know today? Let's, let's, let's get you thinking about people and really, um, you know, that recruiting system is, um, you know, it's also a vision casting system, you guys. It's also vision casting. It's also letting people see what they can be, helping them, you know, spitball and think about people that they could be talking to. So the next one, and obviously you guys have been a part of these as well, is a retention system. A retention system looks a lot like how do we get people who say yes to stay? Well, a lot of that is, is when it's your level one, remember the activity that we're doing, um, you know, ourselves, that has a lot to do with, with those conversations. But what do we have on our larger team? Well, we can invite them into the wellness community, right? You guys also have something, if uh, many of you on here are part of my project broadcast drip or a part of one where they're going to get a text from someone who loves you and they're going to say, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm so excited. You've joined Missy. This is so really fun. Oh my goodness. Um, you know, I'm here if you need us and then kind of lay some things out. So that's a part of our retention system that you guys, right, at this point, don't have to, um, you know, be a part of it's really sort of humming in the background of, of another connection point for your people. Okay, so letting you just like either um, 
uh, you know, just pointing them to that direction, but that's going to happen naturally, especially if you're, if you are, um, rolling directly up to me as your, for, is your, um, closest tool. Okay. Um, but the retention system also remembering that wellness community, it looks a lot like continued invitations. So like we talked about the recruiting, um, can look like inviting to Thursday can look like also inviting to Sunday that can also be a part of your retention system. And so these systems really have a lot to do with continuous invitations all the time. So I'm going to, I just picked on Missy. I just said her name. I'm going to say it again. So like with Missy, like, um, I invited her to go to convention. She could not go, but like, I invited her to go to convention. I invite her to connect with me. I invite her to, Oh, what can we do? What, you know, and we talk about her business. So retention system for each person looks differently based on their relationship currently with Plexus, but we always want to keep inviting to the next thing. And guys, sometimes, and don't overthink this, inviting to the next thing can sometimes be inviting them to share about their day, right? Inviting them to, sh to come to a coffee, inviting them to come to Sunday, inviting them to watch a video. Do not overthink this, but do not sleep on this. Because I will tell you this, I, I, I would say that this is a, you know, you're gonna have, you're gonna have clients that have been with you for years. I mean, you're going to have customers that have been with you for years. I've got customers. Tanya became a business builder after being a customer of one of my level ones since 2015, right? Okay. It's important. You don't know when the it is going to hit for somebody and you don't know when it is going to strike you to open that conversation. Do not sleep on those regular drips of love right? And loving people in their seasons and knowing that if you love them well and you keep that door kicked open, they can come back. I've got people coming. I have people come back to me all the time. It's because I don't take their no or that they, it's not for them right now. Personally, I don't like hair flip them. I'm just like, okay, like a hundred percent, but I don't stop inviting. Right. And so when it comes down to a retention program, sometimes that looks like when you're doing your green light challenge, you still reach out to that person who kind of ghosted you and, you know, stopped ordering and you felt confused by them, but you still lead in love anyway. Okay. Retention is not, it's relationships. All right. So yes, we're going to help them make sure that they're optimizing their products. Yes. We're going to guide them on how to poop. Yes. Well, you know, if you want that specifically, there is a pinned document in our team page, just like kind of a flow, a conversation flow. If you really are brand new to this and feeling like you're like a fish that is out of water, flapping your tail, trying to figure it out. That is a great document. It's pinned there. It's pink. Somehow we got to offer that at convention. No idea how not compliant in my opinion, but that works for me. Um, I love not, things that are non-compliant because uh, that's the real. Um, but, you know, really with retention, it comes down to obviously those regular check-ins, obviously supporting the product, but a continuous um, invitation, right? This can also look like inviting people who are happy on the products to something like Super Saturday, inviting people or who are happy on the products to watch a video, something that hits you. You're like, you know what? I'm going to send this video to like three people and just see if they'll watch it. Right. Um, this a lot of times with retention is something I want you to view as a marathon and not a sprint because it is a hundred percent, a marathon, a hundred percent, a marathon, Right. I might not get um, Amanda to go to convention for the first three years, but I might get a man, I might keep loving on her and she might go and it might change everything for her life. And so if we just believe that our role is the invitation, how much differently would we view some of these things? Because a lot of times we attach our work to the outcome and really it's just attaching our work to the work. Okay. So we don't, we don't want to, um, you know, and this can show up a lot when you, you know, sidebar whoop, squirrel, when you are coaching people on a regular basis, you can really attach your worth to their outcome and it's dangerous. Don't do it. 
don't do it. I, you guys, I've got people who pay me for coaching and I struggled at the beginning and I stopped for a while because I was like, they're not moving forward. I'm bad at this. Well, that's not how it is, right? You wouldn't look at your upline. Um, you know, if you've got a great relationship with them or a coaching relationship and say, you know what, um, I'm not doing this because they, you know, this, no, you would take that ownership. And so we, you know, you really want to get clear on just the invitations, just the love, just the encouragement, always speaking truth, right. And don't shy away from telling people the truth. Okay. I trust me. I like tried to dance around things for years and I'm like, it's okay. No, listen, if you're, I'm you're getting a hundred proof today with me. All right. This is the truth. And I'm going to love you enough to tell you the truth. And I just want to encourage you to be that person for someone. You can say anything to people when you say it with kindness and directness, you can say anything. I promise if you need help with that, reach out to me privately and we can talk about it. Okay, so the next thing is obviously a sales system. A sales system runs directly into the recruitment system, right? Some of this little list is a little ass backwards, but it's fine. So the sales system is really, I'm posting, I'm connecting, I'm reaching out. You want to get clear, and I said this earlier, I really feel like you want to get clear on two, maybe three combos that you love and you it's like a go-to and guys we're not robots so you know there are times when you're going to deviate from this but having two to three combos that you're talking about on a regular basis to have content around I suggested the other um who was I talking to I have no idea but it was you know someone who I felt like oh yeah I know it was someone I felt led that like the cortisol conversation could be really strong for their network, right? And maybe the way, maybe weight loss is strong for your network and autoimmunity. Maybe, um, you know, professional, you know, maybe you're, you know, surrounded by professionals and those people are freaking exhausted. They are angry. They want something new, like whatever, right? You want to have two to three talking points that roll off the tongue for you that they start to anticipate. I would say that most people can anticipate what they're going to get from me on social media. So when they're ready for that, they know where to find the person who offers it, if that kind of makes sense. And it's, guys, I'm 10 years in. If you're not doing this, don't be hard on yourself. It's taken me a lot of stumbles to get to this place to give this advice. The truth of the matter is you might have three combos that have nothing to do with something like pregnancy. And then someone is going to come knocking on your door and be like, I am pregnant. Can you help me? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We help everybody. We turn no one away. We can help everybody. But just it's that conversation. Perfect example is Anna is on here. She is great about that kids combo conversation. I mean, they are coming to her. But I said, let's find some things that we can add to it, right? So it, we get, we're getting more of the family members on it. And so you, she and I have been working on that. I just want you to get really clear. A lot of it, for a lot of us, one of them is going to be triplex. We just know the power of it. We just know that it works. We just know, you know, or maybe it's a triplex and a reset. You know, you know what I'm saying? So like getting really clear, that sales system gets clearer when you know who you're talking to. Because the truth of the matter is we cannot control who, you know, reaches out to us, obviously. I used to feel like casting the widest net was the best thing because I didn't want anyone to feel like I wasn't for them. Well, guess what? I'm not for everybody. I'm really, really not. Like, I mean, but you know, I'm a, I'm going to attract a certain type of person and I'm okay with you not feeling like I'm for you because when I stand in who I am and what I offer and what I'm really good at and who I coach really, really well, those people can find me and the quality is better and they're ready to build a business and they're ready to take their health seriously because I'm talking to the same person or, you know, somewhat of the same people. So I want you to spend, take away homework, right? Okay. Uh, this next week, I want you to get clear about who you're talking to and what you're talking about. And you might come to me and say, Sadie, it's really, it's triplex. I love that for you. I want you to come up with a couple other ones that you can quickly pivot to. If someone's like, I am not going to talk to you about pooping. 
I'm, I'm literally not going to talk to you about pooping. You're like, great. Here's mix and glow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, perfect. Let's go. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, we want to always show up to where people are at because the truth is, is if we have a major agenda around, um, you know, we can have a framework around where what our talking points are. But if we have an agenda and we alienate people, they're going to go find somebody else who's, you know, more agreeable to their conversation. So I hope that that kind of makes sense. And obviously you see that that sales, that sales system for you of figuring out who you're talking to, getting really clear about what your social media looks like. If you want that to get better, if you want that, if you want something with that, obviously, you know, you guys know I'm available to you anyway, but like, I keep saying it because I want you to know that if something feels confusing and you, you know, normally would go to like a YouTube or a Google and it's not working for you, I am here. This isn't just a, you know, a, a thing where I just, you know, throw out, you know, guidance and then that's it. So, but as you can see, the sales goes right into, um, you know, and sales and marketing are really, a lot of the same guys, if I'm honest, sales, marketing, recruiting, it's like this, it's like this constant thing because our marketing plan is around who we are showing up as on social media. Um, and that walks right into how we're selling with our three-way messages, with our constant invitations. And that's what recruiting is. So, um, the next, the last thing I want to say to you, and this is really not necessarily about systems but you need to be talking about the business. If it feels weird, if it feels icky, you are, I'm, I'm staring at people who tell me they want to be a top level leader. You cannot square dance your way out of talking about the business. You literally cannot. And the more I start talking about it and saying those uncomfortable truths, and I'm not talking about being boastful or egotistical. I'm talking about standing in humility and offering a solution, reaching out to people and saying, I see that you have greatness inside of you. I want you to do this with me. It's, it's showing up to that hard conversation because here is the deal. Am I unstable? Am I okay? Wonky? Better? I'm wonky. Froze yeah, you minute. froze for a minute. I, yeah, I lost you at, you have to talk about the business. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. And yeah. then it was. You have to talk about the business. Uh, Go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, you have to talk about the business. And, and here's why. Is that we, for years, I was confused why people did not take this business seriously. And it's because I wasn't talking about it seriously. Okay. And that can be a, a hard topic for people that can be scary. That can be something that freaks you out. But I, I swear to the Lord. Okay. Blasphemy, right? We don't swear to the Lord, but if I had to do it, what I would say is that you could have 10 hard conversations. You could, you could have 10 asks that really make your butt clench up. And you're sweating in your armpits and under your in your undercarriage, and you're sweating and you're sweating and you're sweating. And even if two of those people, even if 20%, which is lower than the normal law of averages, said yes, it would change everything for you and that person. So I want to ask you what your why is. I want you to get really clear on your why. And that's why we opened it with this exercise. Because if your why has anything to do with other people or yourself, it does. You have to have this conversation. You have to find a way that you feel authentic in the conversation. Because I bet you, ever like I bet you, none of the people that I'm looking at on the screen would talk about the business the way I did. But the way that you talked about it is just as important, just as purposeful, and just as special. Just because I do it a certain way doesn't mean that you have to do. You know what I mean? You can find your way through this hard topic, but the minute that you do it and you figure it out, oh. I swear you're going to change things for people. I swear. I, I promise you. And it's about you elevating to a place that feels like you are capable of leading 
we're veering off clearly of the systems, but I'm just, it's all related, right? I want you to elevate to a place of being her, that one who leads, right? You're following someone 10 steps ahead of you and you've got people 10 steps behind you just waiting for you to reach out and do something for them. Be that person for them, right? You've got people, whatever your story is, right? Whether you're you're here for like autoimmunity or the weight loss story or the mamas or the this or that, whatever. There is somebody 10 steps behind you that does not feel like they can do it. And I know that you're the one that's going to teach them that they can do it. And you're going to teach them that they can do it by standing up and having the hard conversations and saying, you can do this. And guys, it doesn't always have to be going hard about them quitting their job. Literally $500 or $600 could change things for people. I don't know who at this day and age, but that could be a mortgage for someone. That would be wonderful. That's not my mortgage. Okay. <laughs> not my mortgage. Um, but do you know what I'm saying? Like, like figure out who you're showing up for, why you're showing up. You're going to get no's. You're going to get people to ghost you. You're going to get people who are not going to get it. But the clearer that you are about what you offer, who you're offering it to, and just imagine having one conversation a day, 30 conversations in a month with a new person that just says, I believe in you. Do you know that women would love to have a strong woman tell them that they could do it? And you don't have to be a certain rank to tell somebody that. Cliff's notes, right? A lot of times we talk a certain thing to ourselves because we we feel like we need to be farther or we're not far along or we stumbled or we fell backwards. Mm -mm. Regular people don't know anything about our rank, by the way. They don't know what pay points are. They don't know what rank advancement bonuses are. We're going to teach them, right? If they'll listen to us, we're going to teach them. We're going to help them get their bonus. We're going to help them get their double bonuses. But they don't know anything about this world. And yet we let this world and the definitions and the and the quantifications inside of this world decide if we're good enough to have a conversation where we tell somebody they can be everything. I don't think it's right. Do you? Let's go. Let's show up for her. Let's show up for her that needs you, that's 10 steps behind you, that would love to figure out how to go on a trip. Take their husband on a trip. Let's figure out how to do that. Let's figure out how to burst into flames for that lady. She's just suffering. She's drowning. And maybe you're like, Sadie, it's me. I'm the one that's drowning. But guess what? You stop drowning when you help her too and throw the life preserver, right? Right. Okay. So here's the deal with systems and we'll wrap it up. But systems are a way that you choose to operate so that when you're on in your lowest, right? You're like, oh my gosh, I'm having a rough day, but I know that all I've got to do today is invite three people to Monday. All I've got to do today is ask three people to get me into conversations with people, right? All I have to do today is show up to Sunday to fill my own cup. A lot of what we do is about keeping our cup full. And I think we miss that a lot, you know? And so when you, when you're motive, when you're, um, uh, just encouragement waivers for yourself. It's really a lack of belief. And the thing is, is if we peel our eyes open, we open our ears, we find it. We find it everywhere. And that is such a blessing. And this is a faith-based organization that of people, of women who care about you. They don't even know you, they care about you. Okay, I want you to believe that. I want you to know that when you go to our events, um, I'm not going to speak for everybody because there might be a bad apple or two, but I can tell you that, um, you know, the goal in this company is to rise by lifting others. The most important thing, if you want to be an Emerald in this organization is you believe that that's a responsibility that not only are you capable of, but you're qualified. You were brought here qualified. You wouldn't even be here if there was not more for you. Okay. I believe that. I believe that. And what, to go back to my why, that is why I show up to these conversations. 
because I need you to be the best version of you to create a ripple that you can't even fathom yet, right? Your ripple is not, you don't even know how big your ripple is going to be. Because I go, I get invited to events for with our team and I walk into rooms and I hear these jaw-dropping testimonies that I can't even tell you about right now because I'll start crying, right? And, and you get to be that person. You get to be that person. It's not just that Sadie's qualified. It's that, it's that because Sadie's qualified, I'm qualified, right? I created the ripple, but you keep the ripple. 100%. Okay. All right. I love you very much. Very, very much. I'm going to stop recording. Hang on. Maybe. <laughs> Why is it changing? <laughs>